A vessel using the port is normally charged on its net registered tonnage. According to a report by the principal auditor, the then captain of the port, Bob Sanguinetti, was asked by port clients to charge a flat rate instead, £100 per day for vessels anchoring on the east side. Mr Sanguinetti applied this discounted rate from August 2015 to January 2018. The principal auditor, Tony Sacramento, says he's sure the captain of the port thought that the move would incentivize economic activity, but expresses grave concern at the resulting loss of revenue over 30 months. The discount scheme is said to have stopped immediately after Mr Sanguinetti's successor, Manuel Tirado, took office. Mr Tirado had reportedly advised against the scheme when he was deputy captain of the port. Reacting to the news, the GSD Shadow Minister for Public Finance, Roy Clinton, says the loss of revenue should not have been possible if strict financial controls were in place. Mr Clinton believes the late tabling of the principal auditor's report does not allow proper parliamentary oversight and scrutiny of such an important issue that is now old. The government has stressed the principal auditor's report concludes that undoubtedly the move by the captain was done in the best economic interests of Gibraltar. The office of the minister for the port claims most, if not all, of the vessels paying the discounted fees would not have stayed in the eastern anchorage at all were it not for the introduction of the scheme. The port ministry says it is simply untrue to quote these figures as loss of revenue despite the fact that it isn't just the GSD who described it as such, but also the principal auditor.